What's up guys? It's time for the news! And Niantic posted this to their blog earlier today. Community note, upcoming changes to Pokemon Go, and they've got a video on there which I cannot show in its entirety or else I will get copyright striked. Are you ready for a Sinnoh adventure? We're excited to let you know that in preparation for the arrival of Pokemon originally discovered in the Sinnoh region, we are making two key shifts to the game balance in the coming weeks. These changes are based on trainer feedback and are designed to promote an improved overall experience. Changes to Pokemon migration and behavior. As you explore the world of Pokemon Go, the following changes will affect the Pokemon that appear around you. We're making adjustments to weather, and moving forward, it will have a reduced effect on the rate at which Pokemon appear. That would be a welcome balance because the weather spawns were a little bit much. As you explore a given area, you will notice that a greater variety of Pokemon species will appear over time and at different rates. Certain areas such as parks and nature reserves will now contain more varied Pokemon species. So it kind of feels like they're reeling back the nest migration system. Maybe not entirely, but they're balancing it out a little bit so it won't just be overwhelmingly that Pokemon spawning over and over again. The second area of rebalancing is changes to Pokemon effectiveness in battle. We also wanted to use this opportunity to rebalance in-game battle mechanics. You may notice some of the following changes in the coming weeks. CP values will be adjusted going forward to improve game balance. So everybody holding on to their 666 Pokemon and their 1337 Pokemon, those numbers are going to change probably. Niantic usually does a good job with their CP rebalances, so I'm kind of excited for this. HP values will be adjusted to close the gap between high HP Pokemon and low HP Pokemon. Yeah, anything that would create more viable Pokemon in battle would be awesome. Pokemon defense and stamina values will be retroactively rebalanced, allowing highly defensive Pokemon to be valuable in battle by outlasting opponents rather than simply running out the clock. That sounds really good right now because I spent a lot of Stardust powering up my tanks and they're sort of useless as the system goes right now. Defense values have also been slightly retroactively reduced for most Pokemon. Changes like these will help narrow the gap between Pokemon with the highest defensive stats and other Pokemon. So I guess now instead of having tanks that can just take a lot of damage and just sit there and not die. We're getting more of a viable gym defender that'll do some damage as well. Moving forward, you can expect to see further tweaks designed to help trainers and their Pokemon reach their full potential. We're looking forward to experiencing these changes with you as we explore the world together. Let's get out there and go. This comes from Liz George, the Pokemon Go Global Community Manager. Hi, Liz. Thank you. So I can't show you the trailer because I'll get copyright struck. I don't want to do that, but I will link it below. You definitely should check it out. It's awesome. Here's the long and the short of it. You see a couple glimpses. You start out with Piplup's footprints in the snow, you know, that little cute door penguin, and then you see a little bit of Turtwig, just, just the little twiggy part. And, <laughs> and you see the silhouette of Chimchar. He's sleeping in the cave by the fire, little cute little monkey. Oh, he's, he's getting up, look at him. Oh. You just get more and more glimpses as the narrator says, a vast new world is waking up around us. And then you see the Piplup swimming under the ice. We get a little bit, you get kind of like the forehead of Turtwig as he's getting up. And then you get Chimchar's shadow standing up. Some more Piplup underneath the surface of the water. And then out of the darkness, you see Giratina's face for a brief second. So seeing a legendary is pretty cool. Another legendary, Stoke. And then boom, you get the Pokemon Go logo with amazing creatures are awakening. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. We're we're ready. We're ready to head to the Sinnoh region, guys. So it'll be interesting to see in the coming days how spawns change and how nest migrations change. What are your thoughts on the game's rebalancing? Are you excited about it? Do you like the nest system as it is right now? Are you worried that certain things are gonna change? And also, how stoked are you for Gen 4? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I've been noticing a Lolan Geodude in the wild. I don't know if that's part of anything, but let me know if you spotted some Alolans in the wild as well and uh, speculate as to why. Anyway, this video was short and sweet. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Hit that notification bell to become part of the notification squad. Be the first to know whenever I drop a video or if I go live. For more up-to-date shenanigans, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Links in the description below. There's also a PayPal link down there if you're so inclined to show me some love and have an amazing week. Peace out.